is up, everyone? This is Ray Lopez, and today we're going to be doing a easy, simple rebuild tutorial on a really popular build that I probably use majority of the time. And even at the vape shop, I work at Vape Madness in Burbank, shameless plug. <laughs> um, even with that, I do these center post builds predominantly when I'm building for customers, people new to it, even for myself, I build center post builds. This is pretty much my all day type build. And I can take it down pretty low. Actually, in the rebuild portion of this video, I do build this coil down to a 0.15. I'm guessing it's probably more like a 0.2. I don't think these ohm readers are too accurate when it gets down to the lower resistance levels like that. But I could be wrong. Maybe this thing's completely right, and it is a 0.15, and I've just always thought it was a 0.2 with my other shitty ohm meters. Who knows? Who cares? Whatever. Anyways, <clears throat> as long as you're being safe with your batteries, this build that I'm showing you, as well as pretty much every build that I have on my channel, you do need to have a little bit of knowledge about your battery. Try and use batteries, or don't try. Do use 30 amp or more 18650 batteries when you're using these builds. They're really low, amp limits, you don't wanna mess with that, all right? So anyways, I'll show you this really quickly here even though we will go into up close mode and all that good stuff so there you go you can see this is a center post build you can see they're both lined up dead center bonus to doing one of these coils is eh you know what screw that we'll talk about that after the build portion let me show you this thing firing take a vape We'll go down into up close mode. I'll show you guys how to build it. Then we'll come back. Then we'll talk about the build a little bit more. How's that sound? Sounds good to me. All right. All right, everyone. Welcome to build mode. So let's go ahead and get started on a easy, simple, dual center post build, right? Okay. So first things first, I have a 564 Allen wrench, which is what I normally use when I'm building these coils. So let's go ahead and start this off. We're gonna go ahead and do five wraps. Do them as close as you can, just to make it a little bit easier. Three, four, and five. All right, so there we go, we got our first five wraps right there let's go ahead and straighten these out a little bit make sure they're all nice and neat so that way our coil looks like that let's see and then we'll tighten it up of course once we get it on the atomizer okay so now here's the biggest step actually let me zoom back in here to show you this part all right, now this right here is the step that I always use to do my center post builds. I'll take a pair of needle nose or something similar that I can grab onto. And I'll take the leg on the bottom and bend it. Nope, oh, getting blurry. There we go. And bend it straight like that. Like so, you can see. And then I give it another bend right there. And kind of figure all this out, get it all nice and tidy. So there, now you can see we have a nice bend. And this will allow you, when you're adding it to your atomizer here see if I can do it this way show you <laughs> yeah no screw that that ain't working okay so I'll show you this way all right I know it's upside down for you okay so feed it through there and then the one that was all bent goes into your negative 
and you feed it in until it stops just like that okay and let's go ahead and tighten our negative down just like so all right so there's one i'm going to go ahead and make the second one off camera okay here's our second one right here you can see the same type of bend on the leg that goes underneath see what i'm saying and another thing that i did that i didn't actually show you on the last one is i'll pinch down with my finger on the top leg and bend that as well so that way they're both pretty much lined up with one another they don't look like it there but they are so that way you don't really bend or tweak your wires that much when you're installing them all right so same thing as last time just on the other side now go ahead and put that longer leg through the center put the bent one through your negative until it stops and lines up and go ahead and tighten down our negative post bend that off to the side now we just double check and make sure everything looks pretty good on the other side which it does and tighten down our positive sure everything oh negative loosened up here there we go all right there, everything seems to be nice and tight now we just go ahead and cut off our excess wire here close as you can to the post and then for the center ones I make it easier for myself because trying to get the wire cutters in there without damaging anything is a little difficult this seems to be the best way for me I just keep going back and forth until the wire actually separates itself and oh as you can see here when you do that sometimes it loosens up that center screw let's tighten that down again there we go Tighten up our center post again. Oh, there we go. There we go. That ain't going nowhere now. Again, check all your screws because that one loosened up as well. All right. Now everything should be all nice and tight. Then I take the Allen wrench again. I reinsert it into my coil and get it all nice and even because as you can see, like, this one here is all tweaked. So we just go in there, bend it, put it to where you want it to be. And this one can actually go up a little bit right there. There. Now you can see pretty much evened out, nice lined up. Let's go ahead and test it out, see what we're getting on the ohm meter. All right, so we're getting a 0.13. This is a 0.13, which I think this might be off just a little bit, but this is a pretty low, low, low resistance build. So please make sure you're using the proper batteries when building down to this level. All right. Okay, now let's go ahead and get these coils all nice and perfect here. So let's do some pulse firing, getting it nice and hot. And go in there with your needle nose and press it get it all nice and tight just like that that looks good do the same thing on this side there we go that looks just about right even though this one might be spaced out. No, nah, not really. It's actually pretty much right on center there. So there we go. We got our two center posts made here. Actually, this one go a little bit more. 
And I am building this with 24 gauge nichrome. So it's a little bit easier to work with. So there we go. Now we got a nice, perfect center post build. All right, let's go ahead and throw some cotton in there and get it whipped. Okay, here's our rolled up piece of, or unrolled piece of cotton. Go ahead and cut off a nice healthy portion of it. And we'll split it right down the center. Should be just enough cotton to get this thing going. And you just thread it right into your coil. Same thing on the other side. Just kind of roll a nice little tip and slide it right in. And easy way to do cotton. The way that I've always done it, if you're pretty new to this, I feed it through until I start to get a little bit of resistance. See, I'm getting a little bit of resistance there. It's not pulling easily. And I just kind of back it off a little bit or go back and forth a few times. Same thing with this side. It was the same thing. I'm getting a little bit of resistance. And I just kind of wiggle it. That always seems to be just the perfect amount of cotton. Let's go ahead and give ourselves a nice decent amount of cotton in here equal on both sides since this is a center post build take my trusty paper clip tool and we fold the cotton on itself just like that and you just take this and stuff it in there nice and neat or nice and sloppy. It's really up to you. I like to do it a little bit neater. Plus this is going to be going into a future giveaway here with the build included. The Tobacco Patriot clone. That giveaway will be on the Cotton Collective Facebook group. So go ahead and join. Maybe you'll win this. Alright. So let's just double check this again because sometimes ohms change a little bit yeah so it went up a little bit now it's a 0 0.15 0 0.155 how's that all right so let's go ahead and uh juice this thing up put it all together vape on it and show you how it works and welcome back so now now you've seen it you've seen how to build a dual center post coil you can use any type of gauge that you want if you want to go and have it higher resistance then you know do it with some 24 or this is 24 nichrome so you can use 24 canthal be probably a little bit higher 26 or above and it'll raise your resistance add more wraps of course this is just kind of where i've been at right now and like i said in the build this is for a giveaway that's coming up in the near future it's not my giveaway i'm just supplying the build and and sending it back but it will be on the cotton collective facebook group eventually I believe so. That's what he told me. So anyways, center post build. The reason why we use the center post build. Center post build is a great coil. And the fact that your coils are centered means that you can get an equal amount of wick on either side. So that way you don't have, you know, like say on the tobe addies, you have to have your coil off to one side of your deck. So that leaves one section of cotton of your wick or silica, whatever you're using is gonna be shorter than the other side, which is gonna be extra long. So sometimes you'll get a dry burn on the short end while you still have juice on the long end. This fixes that. You don't have to worry about that now because you have equal lengths on both sides and they're both wicking to your coil and you get great performance. So let me go ahead and take a vape. These air holes I need to drill out still. These are still the, the stock air holes. All right, so there you can go. You can see the performance. As any micro coil build or macro coil build, you get lots of vapor, lots of flavor. I know, you know, there's guys like me and others out there that do all these crazy fancy trick builds. You don't need a crazy fancy trick build. If you like the look of it and you want to take a shot at and making them, 
by all means do it. They look awesome. I love building them, hence the reason I do these tutorials. I like to show you guys how to build them just because a lot of times they look cool. Performance-wise, though, eh, I really don't see much of a difference on certain coils compared to just like a basic coil just like this. You're going to get great performance. You're going to get great flavor, great vapor production on a simple and easy center post build just like this one that you just watched. So not trying to knock anyone out there that makes cool, awesome like art designs with their coils. I do the same thing. Keep on doing what you're doing. But this one is to show guys that are just getting into this or people that just want to know. They've never actually tried a center post build. They've always just done a basic coil. This is how you do it. The proper, proper way of doing it. So there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the, the sound now. I just uh, got myself a brand new microphone set up. So no more uh, shitty sounds come in from my videos, hopefully. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the sound. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the build. I'm Ray Lopez, and as always, vape on.